What is going on guys? Yet another YouTube video. I know, you're excited, I'm excited. We've all been waiting for this, clearly. I haven't been putting out many videos lately, so I'm excited to put this one out. But guys, let's get serious. Today, we're gonna be talking about something that actually I wish that I found sooner when I started lifting because this shit has helped me throughout my entire lifting career. And I mean, it is extremely helpful. You guys will find it helpful. So let's get right into it. How to make your arms thicker. That was the one question that I had the moment I started lifting. And keep in mind guys, when I started lifting, I was like about 120 pounds. So I was lanky. I looked like a stop sign in terms of like a stop sign pole. Like I was so fucking lanky. Sorry for the French, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You know those like noodles? You know what noodles look like? Angel hair noodles? That's exactly what my arms represented. But I'm not shitting on myself. I'm just telling you guys what I started with. And I'm gonna show you how you guys can make your arms thicker with some exercises. So as you guys can clearly tell, I'm not at the gym right now because this is gonna be like a two part video. So this part, I'm basically at my dorm and I'm gonna be showing you with a pair of dumbbells that I have, how to basically work out the thickness of your arms, specifically biceps. And then in the next portion of the video, I'm gonna be at the gym and I will guys, I will then show you other exercises that you can do. And the reason not, why I'm not showing them now is because I'm not going to the gym yet. So once I do, you guys will be able to see that. But anyways, let's get started. So basically when working with thickness of the arms, you guys want to work on the brachialis and the radiobrachialis. And uh, I'm not exactly, okay, so basically the radiobrachialis is inside the arm right here. You can't see it because it's like, it's in between like the long head of the bicep, but I'm not gonna get too technical because honestly guys, I don't know shit about this in terms of like where it's positioned. I know the exercises, I just don't know where it's positioned, which I probably should have researched. But anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can basically implement an exercise and stimulate the muscle of the radiobrachialis. So when stimulated, the radiobrachialis basically gets pushed out. It pushes out your bicep. So I don't know how to give, I don't know what analogy to give you guys, but like think of the radiobrachialis as like a cushion, kind of like a mattress. And on top of that mattress is basically like the bed sheets and all that other shit. So if you like keep inflating the mattress, it's gonna start pushing out the bed sheets higher and higher, if that makes sense. So basically what the radiobrachialis does is the same thing. If you keep building it up, it's basically gonna start pushing out the bicep to the side, which is essentially gonna create that thickness of the bicep and overall arm. So like, as you guys can clearly see, like my arms are not like too thick, but definitely thick enough to the point where it's not like, like, like that. Like it used to be way worse. I'm telling you guys, this exercise is going to fill out your sleeves so much better. Let's get started. Keep in mind the shirt that I'm wearing, the reason why it looks so fucking good on me is because it's a size small. Yes, I shop for this in the children's section, but you know, nobody has to know that. Only my subscribers. So you guys, you know what's up. If you guys wanna look super buff and super like shredded and shit, just wear a kid size t-shirt. Solves all your problems, I swear. But anyway guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a dumbbell. This is a 30 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna show you right here. Let me get two actually. All right, so what you wanna do for this one, this exercise is called hammer curls. So hammer curls is basically like bicep curls. So these are bicep curls. Hammer curls is when the grip is neutral. So I can show you to the side. The grip is neutral, and all you guys are going to do is you're gonna hold your elbow right in place without moving the elbow. You guys are going to lift it up and lift it down. And the same thing goes for the other arm. And basically for this exercise, you guys don't have to go too heavy. You just gotta make sure that when you go down, you go down a little bit slow. That way, the eccentric movement is way, okay. 
I'm gonna talk about eccentric movement in a while, but I'm gonna do this arm, show you what it looks like. Eccentric movement. So, you guys are gonna have to do that for 10 reps, so 10 repetitions, three sets, but essentially, the reason why you want to go slow on the eccentric portion, which is when you go from up to down, is because the eccentric movement is actually when the exercise gets hard. It's not so hard pushing it up as it is keeping in place and slowly bringing it down. That works a lot more twitch fibers, and there's like type A and type B, but we'll get into that in the next video when I actually learn more about it, because I don't know shit. Um, basically, yeah, guys, so you want to get up here and you want to use a really slow eccentric movement going down. That is exactly why I suggest using lighter weights because you'll be able to do more reps. However, of course, your goal is not to build muscle, but to be a power lifter, you guys can go nuts on the heavy weights. But I'm talking to you guys that want to look aesthetically pleasing, you know, somewhat muscular, good definition. Low weight at least 10 reps. You guys wanna, actually not at least, that's the most that should happen. You guys basically wanna struggle on the 10th rep. Rap, what the fuck? 10th rep, but yeah, 10th rep is when you guys want to basically like struggle and barely get it up there. And that's how you know that it's a good weight for you. So, yeah. Um, let's get right into the next exercise. It's gonna be uh, the next clip. Right over here. How's it going, guys? We are back at the gym. Oh, I'm out of breath. Because I just did leg press. But anyways, we're about to do our second exercise of the day for the arm width. And we're going to start using the pull-up bar right here. And we are simply going to put the arms really close together and basically do a pull-up but with a really close grip. That's gonna work your radiobrachialis really well and is really going to push out those biceps. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like right now so you guys can see. Oh, uh, here we go. The reason this exercise works so well for your radiobrachialis is actually because you're using your own body weight and your body weight is really heavy, which actually challenges the muscle a lot more than if you were to use just weights. So basically guys, this exercise right here is absolutely optimal for growing the width of your arms. Welcome back guys. I just got back from the gym, took a shower, your boy's feeling great, feeling clean. Um, amazing workout, I gotta say. I'm really glad that I did this video and put it out there for you guys because I've been meaning to make this video actually a really long time ago. But with all the work and homework that I had to do, it's just, I just can't find time for it. But I will do better with putting on videos. I will try to post at least one video every single week. I'll try to stick to that schedule as much as possible. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I genuinely really do appreciate it like I'm like really into fitness guys and I just really want to become a fitness influencer someday and it's just my dream like being able to help people and teach people and sell my own fitness products like that's just my goal and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to accomplish it and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and actually getting me a step closer to that goal um, I know more and more of you guys are tuning in, and I really appreciate that. And I just wanted to say I hope you guys have a good day or night, wherever you live. And, of course, as always, look better, feel better, do better.